Cohen to Dweezil Zappa. Our next guest has interviewed literally thousands of personalities over the years. TV and movie stars, authors and musicians, just about everything in between, too. You can hear him from noon to 3 on the Big 550 every weekday if he shows up. Uh, along with his co-host, Julie Buck <laughs> and Max Poise, he's celebrating 40 years in broadcasting. And he joins us for a long overdue visit on My St. Louis Live, Mr. John Carney. Thanks, buddy. Well, How are you? Congratulations on 40 years in the business. Wish I had more to show for it. Well, <laughs> we all do. Yeah. do. Do you ever look back and think, man, I never in my wildest dreams think I'd be the veteran, the, like the veteran radio. Guy. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be alive this long, number one. <laughs> um, and it was 40 years ago yesterday that I went on the air for the first time. And the only reason I know that was my first day in Colorado was my 21st birthday. Oh, is that right? Otherwise, I'd say, yeah, I've done this for 150 years. So your dad, a lot of you know that uh, Jack Carney was uh, John's dad and uh, a very well-recognized, internationally really recognized radio host. Uh, was it always going to be radio for you? No. 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 He said not to. He did? He said, no way. He said, you want to be a gladiator, you'll get more work. Um, <laughs> And I went to college and I studied psychology and I was a percussion major. Again, big Everything money. but yeah. radio. And then when I finally decided to get into it and I went to Broadcast Center in like 82, everyone was like, well, of course that's what you're going to do. Right. I'm like the only one that wasn't in on it. When you did those start, did it feel natural? Did you feel like, oh, I should have been doing this all along? I thought it did, but as I'm getting ready for the 40th and we're playing stuff all week long from the very first audition tape forward, I certainly didn't sound like I had a future in it because I sounded 11. Really? Yeah. All right, well. All right, so let's shift gears a little bit as we look at these pictures uh, uh, of some of the personalities that you've uh, uh, befriended, not only interviewed, but befriended over the years. Some which of has them, to be yeah. Exciting. Yeah, uh, best interview ever. See, I, I get asked that, and, and what I base that on is when it's over, I'm sad because I just want to hang with home. them right. and spend more time. Uh, Goodman's always fun because back in the day when he was a little crazy and I was a little crazy, he'd show up to my late night show with a pizza. Mm -hmm. We'd do the show and then we'd go gallivanting various and sundry places. So we became friends as a result of that. But as far as the show, like Robert Fulgham was very okay. influential. I enjoyed him immensely, comedian Richard Jenny, Brian Regan, uh, a lot of actors and actresses. And, and what I really like is when I ask them something and they don't go into automatic drive. Right. You know, That's or, when you know you're a good interviewer, I think, because then you get to see the real person. Yeah. That, that, that means a lot. Gene Wilder comes to mind because he said to me one time, wow, no one's ever asked me that before. I don't really? remember the question, but... <laughs> That's a great uh, response. I, I got that one from Spanky, from Spanky and our gang. Yeah, he oh, now you're that, dropping thought, wow, names. Wow, I nailed it. I can't right. compete with those names. Now, you work, uh, of course, uh, very closely with Julie Buck. Mm -hmm. Julie's a famous broadcaster dad. Jack Buck, of course, is St. Louisan. Is that a natural fit for you guys, you think? Yes. Yeah. asked her, I would say no, but... We uh, <laughs> have a certain understanding of each other that nobody else can really get because you start in a gigantic shadow. And then dad's name for me and for her moves farther down the article when they write something about you. So she gets it. And Max, our producer, his dad was on the radio yeah. in St. Louis too. Yeah, Max so, Boise. you know, yeah. we're all legacies. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Well, you can catch John on the Big 550 uh, KTRS weekdays from noon uh, till 3 o'clock along with Julie and Max. Tune in if you can.